Hello and welcome to this film about VSEPR. It's the first of a number of films um, that uh, concern themselves with the shape of covalent molecules. And before you watch these films, it's really a good idea to have um, a fairly sound knowledge of how to draw electron dot diagrams for covalent molecules. So if you if you don't feel confident doing that kind of stuff yet, then go back and practice that before you watch this film. Okay, hopefully by the end of this film you'll know what this uh, abbreviation stands for and what the theory sort of what it leads on to. Um, it's not a theory you really have to quote in exams, but it is really helpful if you understand what it what it stands for, not what the abbreviation stands for, but what the theory tells us. Okay, so VSEPR stands for. Uh, if I can just find my mouse pointer, there it is. Valence shell, so this is all to do with electrons in the valence shell, electron pair repulsion. So once you've uh, decided how many electron pairs there are in a molecule, and in particular in the valence shell of an atom, you can use the fact that they repel one another to start predicting what kind of shape a molecule will have. Okay, so there's what it stands for. As I say, this is not something you're going to have to quote in an exam, but um, if you know what this stands for, it you know, helps you understand what's going on. It's about the way that electrons will repel one another in the valence shell and try and get as far apart from one another as possible. Okay, before we start looking at the shapes of the molecules, it's worth considering what kind of electron pairs there are, and electron pairs, as you'll Remember having drawn them when you were drawing your electron pair, electron dot diagrams, there's bonding pairs and they can be either single or they can be double or triple bonds. Okay, so pairs of electrons can occur in all those different kinds of covalent bonds. And of course, you can also have lone pairs and they are what we call non bonding. So they're pairs of electrons in the valence shell that aren't involved in making bonds. In other words, lone pairs. So they're the different kinds of electron pairs that we're going to look at repelling one another in the valence shell. Okay. And um, I suppose the an easy way of thinking about this, or at least it is to my mind, and you might choose to figure out your own way of doing this, but I always like to think of electron pairs in a valence shell is kind of sitting on the surface of a sphere, much like a globe or something. So if you take an atom as the center of the sphere, any electron pairs that it has in its valence shell, you could consider them as, as blobs sitting on the surface of the sphere. So here we've got three electron pairs around the central atom. And because they're repelling each other, they'll get as far away from one another as possible. And it can be shown, but by people with much greater geometric skill than me, that the way that three electron pairs would get as far apart from one another as possible on the surfaces of a sphere would be to adopt this trigonal arrangement, right, where they're 120 degrees apart. Or in other words, I suppose you could say that they're found on the equator of a sphere. If this was a planet, they'd be on the equator and 120 degrees apart from one another. So if we've got three pairs, they'll get as far apart from one another as they can by because they're repelling one another by adopting those positions. If you had four electron pairs, here we've got one, two, three, four electron pairs on the surface of this sphere. They will not go 120 degrees apart, but 120. 9.5 degrees apart, and this is called a tetrahedral bond angle. Okay, now these names will be looked at in more detail later when we look at the shapes of molecules, but really this is just to give you an idea of what valence shell electron pair repulsion theory says, or VSEPR says. It says that if you put the electron pairs around an atom, they will move as far apart from one another as they can. And I think that quite a good way of visualizing this is to put those electron pairs on the surface of a sphere and consider where they'll be, what sort of angles apart they'll be from one another. And we'll get practice at this in the other films. And as I say, these names 
will be used more often. So don't worry if you're not really remembering these things right now. Really, this film is hopefully just giving you an idea of the fact that this theory suggests that if you put electron pairs around a central atom, they'll repel each other and get as far away from another, one another as they can. Okay, so that's really about it for electron via CPR. Um, the next film is to do with molecular shapes, and that um, basically looks at all the different shapes that we come across in the waste course, um, depending on the number of electron pairs that you have. So I think that would be a good place for you to go next.